Hi, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. In this video, we're going to continue to talk about what to look for when you are checking your panel for safety. After you have checked your grounds, you want to look around the panel to make sure there are not any missing knockouts. If you see an open hole with no wires going through, you need to install KO seals to cover them up. You don't want any openings, so if arcing happens, it is contained within your box. You also want to make sure that each wire going into the panel has a proper bushing on it. If you don't have bushings on your wire, then the wire could rub against the sharp edges of the panel and cause a short. Next, check around the box for rust. Also check the breakers for rust. A lot of panels are located in the basement where moisture can accumulate. Once rust gets inside the panel, it can spread very quickly. While you are checking the breakers for rust, make sure that your breaker type matches the panel type. You should have a label on your panel door that tells you what kind of breakers are compatible with your panel. And lastly, while checking the breakers, make sure that your breaker size and wire size match up and that your wires are phased correctly. If you have a 14 amp rated wire on a 20 amp breaker, you could burn that wire up causing a fire hazard. And if you have a 240 volt circuit and it is running two wires, make sure the white wire has been properly identified as a live wire. You can do this with either tape or marker. For help fixing your panel items, visit thevirtualelectrician.com and schedule a virtual electrician to walk you through it. Thank you.